CW, please change Farley's lock code to secure the vault. Her address backwards should suffice. What did I call? Did I call it? Come on! Hey folks, and welcome back to After Work Gaming. Uh, tonight we're back in Abduction. We turned on the power last time, and we were going to go talk to CW, because that's... He wanted us to turn on the power. Before we do that, though, let me just check one thing. Because now that the power's back on, let's go ahead and spin us back around. I think that should... Right? Right. I was going to say, I don't know if I necessarily buy... Go ahead and prime this so that the next time we come back. But if it's completely... I mean, if it's a 90 degree turn, I don't know if this would really turn back because, I mean, what's the push? So I guess it's not a pure 90 degree turn. That's just a small nit to pick. I was wondering if this opened up is really the question. No, of course it didn't. I don't know. For some reason I thought maybe turning on the power that would open up uh, a space, but... No, I guess not. So let's go back to CW. The reason I wanted to check was, you know, I'm... I'm not really in a rush to go see him. Let's just say, because, oh, we're, we overshot it a little bit, because, whatever, man. Okay, lights on, and the button works. Yeah, all right, CW can wait. We're going to explore this place. I don't know what that machine is, but B. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. If it, Well, we'll see if the elevator works up here. Ooh. Ooh. Mine carts. Look at all these mine carts. I don't know what these things are on here, though. Um, did we see something shaped like this? I don't think we did. But then maybe I'm just wrong. Okay. This kind of, I may be wrong, this kind of looks like the thing that was in the gas station. Um... Okay, so he's a tinkerer. I will... Camera. A button. And I see scraps of stuff I can read. Here we go. CW, please change Farley's lock code to secure the vault. Her address backwards should suffice. What did I call? Did I call it? Come on! Suffice. Regards. Joseph... Jameson, I guess? Mayor... Jansen. Oh, Joseph Jansen. Okay. Or address backwards. Okay, okay, that's how we're going to do this. That lockdown list. Lock tree gate, lock Farley's house, lock lower tower, lock upper tower. Lift minecart into workroom. Turn on Mofang disabler. Mofangs were the things we we're going to attack. Shut garage door, pump water from tree roots. Turn on imager rocks. Those are the things, those are the rocks. Close swing bridge, divert river, turn off power, activate the dome disabler. Oh, I guess we can't. I was going to save that somehow, but no, I guess not. Okay, Mofang disabler, Villain technology, nose from Aprar. I don't know who Aprar is, but Villain's a little on the nose, isn't it? Designed to disable anything based on Mofang tech, disables when blue beam slash cloud is within about 1.5 feet of any Mofang device element. Elements physically collapse, reassemble, reassembly is possible, but non-trivial. A prar assures me that it's not harmful, still not pointing it at my head. Ruko has not been told that the, that the Villains provided it. Well, that's a trap, but that's a trap. I mean, I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not touching that right now. Uh, okay. Alright, there's another button there. I'm not touching that one either until I've looked at all the scraps of paper. In this, I guess it's a workshop. Is that the minecart that got lifted up? Maybe. Let's see. Interesting. Oh, this, look, it's making a rock. The imager rocks, by the way. Man, I am... I've been calling it. Back a reward item. Pallets. Okay. Mayor's imager requests. Entry canyon, Farley's house. Imager requests. Oh, okay, this is where they're going to set it up. Center of town, tree, water source, waterfall. Uh, okay, so we've seen all of these. 
Membrane, wall cell, hmm? The wall slash the tower, locomotive power generator, scrapyard in the garage. Uh, we found this place, we found this place. I don't know what they mean by the wall. I don't know what he means by the membrane. Maybe it's the thing that separates us from that, like, nightmare world. Hmm. Ambassador seed, swap machine functionality. Radius of swap spheres is defined at first swap. Immutable. Seeds recharge natural. Ambassador seed. Swap machine functionality. Radius of swap sphere is defined at first swap. That's immutable. Seeds recharge naturally from ubiquitous ambient membrane power radiation tied to health tree. Or it's tried to tree health. Tied to tree health. Forcing seed open triggers prep behavior. Radius demarcation. Small battery added to amplify ambient membrane power, charges continuously. Parabolic, parabolic focusing of power used to trigger seed swap behavior. Locking location of swap machines assures predictability. No unanticipated damage. Radius demarcation also occurs at same location and destination sphere. Without a pair seed defining the destination swap location, the destination coordinates match the source. Voila, swapping on demand. I have no idea what this is. That's not the... I mean, they, they talk about spheres, but I'm pretty sure that's not the sphere we were seeing back around the scrapyard. But let's see. No? No, 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 no. Come back. Here we go. Holy jeez. Okay. Mofang Solid Volume Projector. Dimensional projector produces apparently solid apparitions with light volume and some sort of simulated mass. Ruko says all projectors will have similar power levels and communications protocols. There appear to be three primary elements. Projector element, beam emission provides the primary light energy source. Control arms, some kind of control or the beam in three dimensions, uh, control of the beam in three dimensions. Color, variable, and mass, invariable. Communications arms, internal comm signals supplied across gap to projection arms. 7 ohm gap, focus 211, 6.7.5, 7 ohms gap. It's probably going to be a thing. Then the 7 ohms, okay. We'll use 7 volt communications level as a carrier voltage, varying the voltage around that baseline voltage. And voltage, voltage, voltage. Produces solid like volume boxes in various colors, formed from bottom to top. Left to right, the Mofangs have turn tuned the retrance timing to 30 hertz for us. Mighty kind of them. For full 3D resolution of approximately 100, 525 by 150 by 150, the converter would be required to adjust the voltage about every 3 nanoseconds. I don't have an abundance of circuitry to build converters running at 333 megahertz. For still projections, rocks, the refresh doesn't matter. The display is persistent until and unless the voltage varies from 7 volts. Huh. I can produce the projection from a still image and set the voltage to 7 to maintain it. Less than 0 0.8 volts results in clear slash open slash massless display space. Oh. Oh, I see. There's a speaker, there's a video source, there's a converter, there's a radio. Okay, so this is the these are the projectors we see with holograms. Notes. Sound will be handled separately. Some projection noise, slight shimmer from radio interference, question mark. Moving image corruption noise. Uh, moving image corruption noise toward the bottom of projection. Uh-huh. Image above projection arm bound. Bounds are possible. Checking for potential hidden lethality. Mayor's suggestion. Checks out. Can't find anything destructive. Consistent, spurious, very high frequency background check carrier. No idea what they could be. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Odd side effect. Projection intersecting any part of cell wall suppresses all transport. Not sure why I tried this. Farley claims it's related to some desire of mine to shoot everything at everything else. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's a butin here. Where do these go? Okay, again, we're not touching anything until I fully explored this area. Okay. Oh, I couldn't open that door even if I wanted to, I guess. Okay, I got this thing. This mamma jamma right here. This is serious. Okay. Open her up. Ooh. Okay, not touching that. Show me this. 
Battery slash capacitor log. Work begins on battery. Power test. First charging implement. 10% charge. Local test efficiency changes. Measures. 50% charge. Bleeder completed. Huh. New secure plug. 100% charge. Bleeder switched. And topped off charge. Six focal panels built. Topped off. Topped off. Topped off. All focal panels built. Topped off charge. Topped off charge. Don't know what the numbers on the side mean, but okay. Close that down for now. Uh, and I can interact with the machine inside, but okay. Huh. 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 Squeeze by? No, no, I can't. Hmm. Okay. Let's. So let's just go back up here, or go back. Let's go up here. See what we can find. The, I thought we would be able to get up here. Uh, not so much though, yeah? Okay. Okay. Oh! Uh, I'll be able to run the water, but what does that give me? Um, no, let's, you know what, let's do this. Let's go talk to CW first. Huh. Look at that. That's a power, that, those look like the same power couplers that are here, right? I don't know the significance, but... Okay. Alright, we're not gonna touch anything yet. Although I suspect that we're about to, like, mess up his machines a little. Let's go and check out... Check out. Let's go talk to, to CW and see what he says, and then I'm gonna start pushing buttons. Because it's been too long since I pushed any buttons. That'd be nice. Yeah? Hey, man. The red beam, huh? Let's see, can we really annoy him right now? Cecil? No. Okay, uh, by the way, Cecil was someone that we heard about in the opening voiceover, and if you guys haven't gone back, with games like this, uh, it serves to maybe go back and listen to older dialogue. So Cecil was mentioned in the opening, I remember because, I don't know, the name stood out. I don't know, Cecil B. Cecil B. DeMille, I guess? I don't know. But his name stood out because... Uh, his name stood out because... He came... He was told... Like, the opening said something like, Oh, for Cecil, it was 1870. So it looks like we got yanked from different times, not just from different places. Look at there. I rotate this more on these? No, I just rotate this one. Yes, perfect. Okay. I'm assuming this turns it on. Whoa. Aha. Uh -huh. This is a Mofang device, right? The red beam. And these 
suppress the Mofang technology. How do I turn it off now? Oh. Interesting, interesting. interesting. So let's go ahead and turn this around. No, this way. Go ahead and... Actually, hold on. What's this button do? All right, now move around this bitch. This is a button. Why are you so nervous? This is the pit. Okay, okay, now what? Okay, that's enough. Caroline, I swear you are a little... Where's the anyway? Are the Mofangs just giving us something? Generously, Blake. Not going to let them get caught in the mouth. Aha! Cecil. In bed with the enemy, eh? He's... This thing. Bet the doozy there, okay. Uh, alright, so... He was in bed with the Mofangs, I guess. That pumps water down. I don't know why that why we do that right now. There's one more button for us to push right over there. Uh, and then I guess we're, we'll figure out a way to turn that off. But, but he's in bed with the Mofangs, getting tech from them. They're quote generous. Oh yeah! Look at there. I was wrong. That's the minecart. It's not... <laughs> it's not that I have to take down the blue the blue beam. It's that I have to take down the red beam. Okay. Go downstairs. No, let's not go downstairs. Let's go find out what this thing does. But, uh... So he's in bed with the Mofangs. They're giving him tech. And then they have a battle against the Mofang. And... Is her name Carla? I forgot it immediately. I, I'm sorry about that. But that's Farley, clearly. And she said, uh, don't trust people. So I'm assuming... I mean, that's not hard to guess, right? Like, this way and lock. All right. That's... All right, let's just say that that thing does something. Red Beam's still going. The rocks, though, we could disable, I think, by pushing around the cart. Let's do that. Go downstairs, push the cart around a little bit. Don't know what that'll accomplish, though. And we have Farley's address. So, Farley's house, right? So, uh, let's just see something here, real quick. Whoa, 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 easy, easy, easy. I guess, it, I guess it's actually not injurious. Hmm. Enter. <gasps> we get to drive it? Oh, man. Hilarious. Okay, so that turns it on. Uh, here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Pretty funny. Um, how do I get it to go, however? How do I get it to go? Oh, I see. Okay. Let's... So we need it... So we need to, to take that thing out, right? And obviously we're gimbaled, but... But... Alright, is it gonna turn? Does it have enough? Yeah? No, we don't have enough. Okay. Uh, but let's... I wonder if there's a way to turn it around, if there's like a U-turn that we can pull. Hmm. So let's do this. Let's go to the rocks. Right? Make sure that we can go there. Yeah, there's gotta be U-turns, because these these tracks crisscross a lot. Okay. Alright, this is all good. All going well. Oh. Yeah, so that's what's happening now. Hmm. Get out. Alright, so we got the card out. That's already step one. I guess that is... 
what they mean. Don't get, don't go near Mofang technology unless it's been deactivated. I guess that's what the warnings are. Okay, so we're gonna. Um, no, want to go this way, right? So we're gonna pull in, then we're gonna pull out and go here. Right, that's what we're gonna do. But that's not gonna help us because. I'm just going to be running backwards this way, right? Running backwards, 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 backwards. We're going to hit the back here, then we're going to come out. And we're going to go this way. I'm just charting the course of this cart. That's not going to help me. And then we're going to go like off into the membrane or whatever, the abyss over here. I do like the fact that they call it a member. How did we not see this? Did I just miss this the first time around? What is going on? What? I totally missed this place. Oh, man. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't even see this place. Look at this. I am so, so sorry. Okay, these are... I guess maybe this is what he means by locking up the membrane. Like he can't... that's what he blocked off? I don't know. I do like that they call it a membrane. The the mayor, when we went to the tree, if you remember? Yeah, and then we would be running... get here. Right? And then we'd be running backwards again. This would be... Backwards, 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 and there'd be no way to turn around. No, we just, we, we just, we just be bouncing around like that. No, we need to unblock the side. Um, yeah, okay. We need to unblock. Figure out a way to unblock this path over there. The thing, like the cave in. I think. I think that's the key. There's no power here, right? We need to get this moving. How do we get that moving? It might be something about projections, but let's... So we might be operating with only half a picture here, right? Because that's the way this works. I don't want us to know the full picture. This might be a piece of that, like... Of a face. Might be a piece of the orb or something. Okay. The orb, the, like the sphere temple. So let's do this. Let's... Leave the cart there for now. I was really vindictive, I'd take out all of the projectors. But I don't want to do that. There's no easy way for me to just yank it around, I don't think. Like, there's no easy way to pull a Yui here. So... Go back. Let's at least unlock... Yeah, let's do that. As the last thing for this episode, let's unlock... Oh no, wait. I'm... I'm... I'm silly, I'm sorry. Go ahead and turn that. Okay, so we're going to keep it that way because there's no reason for us at the moment to go there. And we're going to go here. And just run all the way over to Farley's house. That's going to be the last thing for this episode. We're going to go. We're going to enter her house number backwards. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Just every single number, every single detail uh, can be significant no matter what, right? The one thing I'm going to do off-camera, probably, is I'm going to return to CW's workshop, and I'm going to copy down that list of things that he did to lock down the town. Because I'm assuming uh, that it's going to be important information. I mean, I'm assuming all of that stuff is important information, uh, but it could just be flavor text. Some of it, I'm assuming, is just flavor text. All right, perfect. So let's do this. I'm going to pop the menu because again, the photos. 6341. Alright, so in honesty, I actually had a suspicion that that was going to be the case. 6341. There we go. Now, should I end it here, or should we actually go in? You should go in. Interesting. See the journal. More stuff. Welcome! The community, so welcome center, or community center. 
Oh, and it's a map. Taking a photo of that, thank you. EWs, the shop, the battery, the town, the tree, the tower. Uh. Mm hmm. Cemetery. Oh, right, 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 the cemetery. Falls, the water source, plateau. See, the scrapyard, the bleeder. I don't know what the bleeder is. That, that was the thing that we saw that we were just like, ah, dude, or I was just like, I don't know what this is. Wow, look at all this stuff. Okay, there is a lot of lore here, and it's a projector. There's a lot of lore here. There's a lot of, I'm assuming, clues. It's a good thing that we... Wow, there's just a lot of stuff. Backer items. A lot of stuff. Okay, we're going to stop it here then, before we move on uh, too much further and start reading everything. But if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. It lets me know. Can I open this from here? Nice. So if you guys enjoyed uh, this episode, like, comment, and subscribe. It lets me know that I'm doing something right. Uh, if you think I'm overlooking something, if you think I'm doing something wrong, if you have, you know, other constructive criticism, by all means, leave a comment. You know, everything's welcome. And in any case, I will see you all. Thing's gone. The weird flying thing is gone. FYI. Uh, but in any case, I will see you all next time. Better